Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. We're still in this area where we examined the arm-like piece of machinery, but that will not be the topic today. Today is far better. Now, I've maintained for years that these images are highly fraudulent. When I said images are 70, 80, or even 90% fake, really those numbers are arbitrary. What I'm saying is they're highly falsified using varying methods to hide nearly everything important. NASA Curiosity rover left navigational camera image, so 3324 sources NASA's geologic site, the Mars Science Lab Analyst's Notebook. This surface area is badly overexposed. We've seen this issue before, and it's usually accompanied by this strange darker texture that's supposed to be Martian soil. But it just always looks suspicious, and then often like it's just been digitally painted into place. Well, get ready for the reason that it looks that way. I'm about to apply a special contrast filter, and the changes will be so extreme that your eyes might at first be confused. But give them a second, and that will change. Are you seeing it yet? Not just one specific thing, but the entire disaster area. Folks, I see concrete, rebar, and framework in general of a structure that has collapsed. along with plenty of other material. Look at this. So what did that look like in the original image? Let's look at that. Now do you realize just how wrong that is? For those that have really looked at these images over the years, it's going to start making a lot of sense now. To the far left, look at this exposed frame. You see the precision openings in this otherwise solid piece? Folks, this is incredible. This has been hidden all along. Now, this may not have came out perfect, but it's very obvious that we have a ton of reinforcement material here. This is a collapsed structure. Now, this is no illusion, folks. We've applied this process to the stereo pair and examined it in stereoscopic 3D, and it more than holds up. In fact, it's even more incredible, and we will give you the opportunity to see it in 3D very soon as well. Just hold tight. So with the overexposure in the originals producing such a bright white mess, we used a blending mode called exclusion, which inverts the whites while leaving blacks alone. It was applied and then the brightness was increased. And looky here, a depression appears, which would be no big deal, except for that includes what looks to be deliberate edges and a steep drop exhibiting contour, as well as various objects just randomly strewn. And more than one person has commented that it looks like there was water in this area and that would be controlled water. And what's up with that X? I know you see it. And at the top, you'll see what we talked about in that last video, either stairs, steps, or it could be something else, but that's two and a half feet tall. So where was this depression, we'll call it, in the original image? Well, let's look. Well, there it is. It appears as a mere shadow. So which is the illusion, the shadow or the depression? Well, if that actually drops in elevation, we should be able to measure that. So off we go to NASA's geologic site, the analyst notebook for profile measurements. Now the distance long ways from points five to six here is 8.87 meters. That's 29.1 feet or 9.7 yards, just short of what is needed for an American football first down. And the distance short ways is going to be less than three feet. Clear as mud? Good, because it gets worse. Now for the depth, these profile charts were generated. Look at the top left chart for our long ways point five to six line measurement, that first one. Now we are looking at the elevation change within sight frame in reference to the distance, which you'll recall was 8.87 meters, about 10 yards. And the change is a negative 0.6 meters. That's a drop of right at two feet. And then a rise of 0.8 meters or two and a half feet. 
All three long ways measurements are comparable. They do about the same thing. And then the across shorter measurement shows a drop of about 2.3 feet. So the shadow is the illusion. This is a depression with deliberate edging. And there's our obligatory Martian Missy size reference. And is anyone paying attention? Look at this. Now this is there in the original but it shows up a lot better now. now. I'm not saying that by using this method, it will work to unlock the secrets of every image coming from Mars rovers, but might we have some success with other nav cam images from this area? Yes, we can. This is from Sol 3322. I saw a comment once where someone mentioned that, sure, he could see what appeared to be debris scattered about in some images, but he added that he was bothered at the absence of what he called the big pieces. In other words, the buildings, where are they? Well, here we have the answer. They're underneath, covered by decades of fallout and Martian soil and the like. There've been many times that we've seen what appeared to be metallic sections of something right underneath areas where the rover was, well, rovering. And there's that deliberate depression again. Here, though, we're suddenly confronted with the reality of large, gaping openings exposing the buried ruins of a civilization. Now that's close to reality, y'all, and that's tomfoolery. Now, this doesn't always work that great. As you see here, ah, the lighting conditions weren't quite right for it, but still, it exposes some very unusual things, just once again, that seem to be randomly strewn about. This is also a NAVCAM image from Sol 3322. Now highlighted on the lower left, this is part of that same area we've been looking at in the other images and it did cut through this a little bit. You can see there's a very complex, I don't know, we're still just gonna call it framework for now. And as we look just to the right in the same area, on the same Martian day, we have similar results. And there's lots more, but we are running out of time today, so we will save it for the next one. See y'all real soon.